Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Jack Frost snipping. Hey guys, it's Christina here, and I am actually refilming this. I did like a two part video for this video because I just didn't have time to film it. So I was like, I'm gonna film this part, and then if I get time to it, I'll film the next part. But I was like, today I have time, and I didn't post a video up yet, so I'm gonna refilm it. So I am refilming this Itsy vs. Birchbox December 2014 video, and I hope you guys like it. Okay, so I know it's a little bit late, but they, they sent the products a little bit later this month for me. I think I got it on the 18th, 20th, somewhere around there, so I kind I wanted at least a week or so to try the products out, and I have, um, and when I first filmed it, I wasn't even able to try two of the products, but now I have tried them, and I'm gonna just review them for you. So the first thing that I want to talk to you guys about is Ipsy and this month is You Are a Creative um, Genius and that's the postcard right here. That's the theme. Um, our thoughts are filled with you this month. Thank you for our 2014 filled with beauty, laughter, and inspiration. You've given us so many reasons to smile and we look forward to an awesome 2015. XSO Ipsy. So that's this month, and their bag for this month is this one, and I'm probably gonna give it away to my grandma or someone, because it's just, I feel like it's a little bit plain, and I have a lot, so I usually, if I want to keep it, I keep it, if I don't, then I usually give it away, so I'm gonna give it away for this month. Um, the first item is the BWC Beauty Without Cruelty Premium Aroma. Excuse me. Aromatherapy facial cleanser, three percent AHA complex benefits normal to oily skin, and it's a very very light cleanser. Um, I think it will be great for sensitive skin. It doesn't have any um, smell to it, I don't think. Um, and yeah, it really reminds me of the Mary Kay one because it was very gel like. But that one you could kind of like play with it. it. Like it still has like that form of the gel in your hand, but this one is a little bit more oozy and gooey looking um, when it comes out on your hand and um, pretty soft and um, easy to rub in um, so yeah I liked it so it's not bad I've been using it um, back and forth with my SD louder cleanser perfectly clean um, and using it with my um, Clarisonic and whatnot next item is Tarte um, Lights Camera Lashes and I really like this one it's very close to um, benefits of their real mascara and I really 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 love that mascara so it's very close um but yeah I really like it and this is a sample size one I've always wanted to try because I've heard so many things about it um and I have another sample one of this when I bought the um when I buy, bought the the mascara curler um your eyelash curler Mascara curler. Eyelash curler, um, and it came with it. Um, so I'm gonna probably give one of these away um, to a friend or whatever, but um, yeah, I've been really enjoying it. I think it's a little bit better than the Too Faced um, lash injection. So, yeah, worth a try. Um, next is NYX Butter Lip Balm, and this one is in BLB05 Marshmallow. I wanted a colored one, um, because I just have a lot of, I like having more colored lip products than, um, nude products. Um, because I usually, oop, go for my staple nude, um, lip colors or lip brands, so i want to try more color stuff, but this is not bad. Um, it does give you an easy nude lip as a chopstick form, so as a chapstick form, and yeah, so you could just throw it in your purse, and if you want a new lip, then you could go for this. I also use it to um, kind of, instead of using like a foundation, what usually, uh, what people usually do, to kind of like have a um, blank canvas for the canvas for their lips. Um, I would use this instead because putting foundation, I don't think it's a little. Bit, I think it's a little bit drying for your lips if you put foundation to um, um, have a lip base. I think this will be perfect. It's moisturizing and it's a uh, um, easy to put on without even a mirror. You can just put it on like chapstick. So I really like this um, more than I thought I would um, at first. Um, next is Sexy Hair, Style Sexy Hair for 50 Degrees Blowout, 7 Shine, 1 Hold, and um, it's a heat defense blowout spray, and I've been using this a lot as well, and I love the smell. It really, 
really, really reminds me of caramel macchiato. I don't know why. Oh my god, it just smells wonderful. I really like the smell for this. Um, I don't know why. I just do. So, um, yeah, I've been using it like right here, right here, and then blow, blow drying my hair and stuff like this. My hair is a little bit flat right now because I've been rained on. But, um, yeah, I really, 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 really like this. So, yeah, and there's still a lot of product in here. Um, next, um, as well, I thought I wouldn't like it, but I ended up liking it. It's the Kaylin Just Mineral Eye Polish um, Number no. 5 Orchid. And it's like a rose gold color. And um, they, I don't really like powdery stuff like this because it just, I feel like, gets everywhere. Um, but this one has a tool with it, a sponge. It's basically like a sponge where it has, uh, where you have it. Um, to erase your um, liner and stuff like that at the end of like, like this this one it's basically like that but I use it to apply and it is awesome because I don't need to use a different brush for it and stuff it the tool is right there so yeah it doesn't really get all over the place it does give you a nice shiny glittery eye and I really like the color so it's an everyday color so I really really like this and I love rose gold so, I feel like my hair has been rose gold too, and yes, I know I have to do a hair update, I know, I know. I'm going to change my hair color again as well, so, I don't know, maybe I should have this for a while, I don't know. Maybe I'll change it in January, don't know, but I mean, it's not bad, even the color is going out. Still going on, <laughs> I went off topic there. But yeah, that's pretty much it for Ipsy, I really like the products. For Birchbox, um, it's their pretty box this month. For the end of the month. Here it is. It's really pretty. And it is December 2014 decked out. I am not really gonna read all this stuff. It's basically just an intro to the box. Um, but yeah, I am gonna try to read off all the, the, the descriptions of the products and the prices. So the first one is Embryolise Light Light Prime Concentrate. And it's full size of $16 to $28. Um, what a makeup artist fave. This French moisturizer heals dryness and preps skin for foundation. I like the fact that it um, preps for your foundation. I think it's amazing. And I I just like moisture. I usually use moisturizers as my makeup base, but I've been also using the L'Oreal Paris Magic Perfecting um, base as well. And I use the Benefits Pore Eraser and all that stuff. And I just love products like this because I do feel like it does help putting at least a moisturizer or a toner on your face before you put on your makeup helps a lot. So it doesn't really specifically have to be um, like a makeup perfecting base or a foundation base and stuff but because I did get one um, I think this is pretty good it's very light and um, I like it and um, it also says that um, in the how it says smooth onto face and neck or try unexpected ways to use it at brushbox.com cream how to now I haven't looked at it yet um, but I'm gonna look at it and actually post a little bit of the stuff um, probably on my blog so if you want more description other than a video um, and you want to kind of in words description um, let me know in the comments below but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna put it up on my blog after I read it but this is the product it, it is that toothpaste like metal -y, aluminum kind of packaging which I don't really like because it's really hard to get the products all the way to the end um, to use it up but um, it's not bad and the size is pretty small but I think I've used it three times already and I only use like this much so yeah I, I like that um, when I use it I'm actually wearing underneath my makeup today um, next is the Mana Kadar lip lock full size $24 I can find it um, this is the little sample size and it's a very mauvey, rosy color. It lasts pretty long and it's very pigmented. And it's pretty, I, I would say it's a, on the thicker side of lip, um, lip glosses. And it's very pigmented, so the color is definitely noticeable. So I really like this one as well. I think it's great for the holidays if you want a nude lip but not a very good <laughs> um, I think something rosy like this helps a lot for a mauve look. 
um, you know, left. Um, so yeah, that's the proper book. And next is Royal Apothic. Cup of Cup of Firming Tea Treatment Mask. Full size, $58. It's a little bit pricey. Um, and it is the same type of packaging with the metallic, I don't know, aluminum kind of packaging. Um, it's a little bit bigger than the little cream that I got. But, um, I used it and it smells different. It's, it does smell kind of like tea, some kind of tea. I don't know. It's a brown texture thing, and it goes on light. It kind of put, reminds me of a different mask. I forgot what it was, but it reminds me of like putting like mud, mud mask kind of sorta. Of. Um, but it's very light, and you could use a little bit of product and yeah. Uh, it says put it on for 8 minutes, um, but I actually put it on longer and it does have that minty freshness on your face while while it's on your face. Not, It doesn't go away even if it's drying. The minty um, feeling is still there after a while you have it on too. And I kind of like that, so I don't know if you like it or not, but I like it, so I keep it on a little bit longer. And it's made with antioxidant rich tea. This mask firms and brightens skin in just 8 minutes. Apply to face and neck to remove wet fingers and rub in a circular pattern then rinse. Next product is Rusk Texture Spray full size 7 to $18. What? This medium hole spray gives, your, gives any hair volume and shape while keeping its natural bounce. How? Shake well and spray onto roots for extra oomph or your whole head for flexible hold. Um, like I said before in my previous videos, I don't really like hair sprays at all. It just hardens my hair and I don't like that. I like putting my fingers through my hair and stuff like that. But um, if you put it on lightly, it doesn't get crunchy or anything. Um, and yeah, I, I think I would use this for a hairspray um, after I do my curls and stuff like that. Um, so it wasn't a bad product um, and I like went like oh like this I didn't like, concentrate it so I don't have that hard hair um, but yeah it's not bad and it did have that like held my in my hair <laughs> so I like that um, last is the Vasanti Cosmetics Kajal Extreme Intense Eye Pencil in Rose Gold full size $18 and it's not that bad for $18 um, if you want the full size um, this was a sample size and it's not bad um, but uh, I picked this out for this month. I know they send you emails earlier to pick out one of the items that they have. Either it's one of four, you could get to know one of the products at least um, before um, they even give you a preview of your products. Um, you get to at least pick one and then now they also do this thing where you can actually pick a whole box, a different like themed box for the month. Um, I think this month they actually have two different boxes that you can choose from and also the samples that you can actually choose from. But I chose this one. There was a few that I liked in the choices, but I was like, I can never go wrong with another rose gold eyeliner. So I did pick this one. And this one, um, it goes a long way. Like I washed, I swatched it on my hand and I forgot about it. And I would wash my hands and stuff like that and it didn't go away. And I think it lasts pretty long. I mean, right after you put it on, you kind of rub it out and stuff like that and it blends in but after you have it on for a little bit um you rub it and it doesn't go away so it lasts pretty long and i'm actually wearing it on my inner eye right now and a lot of the product is still there i don't know if you can actually tell but it is still there so i really like it it reminds me of the urban decay 24 7 um eye pencil so yeah i really really do like i wish it was a little bit more rose goldy than a like on my eye, it looks more like a maybe a pinky, white shimmery eye pencil. But I wish it was a little bit more rose gold. Um, but I still enjoy it because I always use this type of colors in my inner core, inner eye. So I was gonna say inner core. <laughs> my God. But anyways, so that's pretty much it for Birch Box and Winner. Oh, it is hard because they had a hairspray. They had eye product, a lip product, and all different products, and I don't know. I really don't know. I think it's a tie this month. I'm sorry. You know I'm bad with these things. Sometimes it is solid 
this and sell it that. But most of the times, I think they they are doing pretty well right now. So I think this month they both win. So there you go, and I'll see you guys next time. Next week, so. Jingle bells swing and jingle bells ring. Snowing and blowing, a bushels of fun. Now the jingle hop has begun.